we are making full adder through LED. As we know that the full adder is a three input device which produces two outputs. This is the truth table of the full adder. It has three input A, B, C in and produce two outputs sum and C out. These are the combinations that we are able to get through this. By using KMAP we can solve this and get a logical expression for the sum which is C XOR A XOR B and the logical expression for the C out from this we are able to write that it is equal to A into B plus B into C in plus A into C in as we know that to implement in LEDIT, the full adder has to be made in the CMOS structure. If we made this in CMOS structure, then the number of transistor used in this by these expression will be plus 40, 40 plus transistors. So this will increase the size as well as power and might create delay in the circuitry so to power efficient and reduce the size then we will use or optimize the circuit so that we will perform the full adder operation but using the less transistor in it that can be done by 28 transistors CMOS full adder This is the circuit of the 28 transistor full adder CMOS structure. This will be used, used by mirror logic. This can be implemented by mirror logic. In this we have reduced the delay of the C out uh, and through the mirror logic we have input, we have provide the output of the C out to output of the C out bar to the input for the sum. These are the equation for the full adder uh, of 28 transistor. The sum is equal to A into B into C plus uh, A plus B plus C into C out and the carry equation is this A into B C into A plus B. As the carry is A into and the carry is A into B then in this we are able to see that A plus B that will be parallel in the NMOS uh, in the pull down network we use NMOS uh, in the CMOS structure and in the pull up device we are using PMOS uh, for implementing this equation in the CMOS structure uh, A plus B are parallel to each other A B is into that will be in series to each other C is into of A plus B that will be in series to A plus B this is how we have implemented this in uh, in PMOS this opposite of this will be happen to the PMOS structure the whole circuit is implemented through these equation and we have uh, received this circuit uh, this is the circuit we have made in the as edit in the tanner tool uh, the output of this circuit that is c out bar which is driven to the input of the sum and the c out is taken out by putting a inverter and then we are getting c out here uh, through the equation uh, we form this circuit and uh, then putting an inverter we will form the sum by uh, for using this in the L edit now we this is the similar circuit uh, for the 28 uh, transistor full adder circuit diagram for now we have to make in this in LED. Now through these structures 
and equations we will be forming the stick diagram of this so which will be give us a better idea how the connection we will make to perform in the l edit this above line shows the vdd which is the power supply and this shows the ground this sh this line shows the ground and, and this cross section uh, cross signs show the metal connection between these and this in the circuit we can analyze like this as the b is portion is to the ground then it will be allied in the stick diagram is will be shown by this as the uh, these are getting uh, power to uh, these are connected to the vdd that will be showed in such a way that we are able to design the led through the in led by the stick diagram these are the inputs and these are the metal connection these uh, marked yellow lines are states for the pmos and these green lights state for the nmos uh, these black lines are showing the connection in between them and there will be uh, 14 uh, polysilicon layers which are these lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 uh, from here we will be getting carry and from here we will be getting uh, sum uh, we have connected in such a way that it is easy to implement uh, in this as we know that we have used a 28 transistor to make uh, this is the whole LED structure what we have formed through the through this stick diagram So basically the blue line shows the metal layer and we have provided and told it that it is the VDD. The red line shows the polysilicon layers in between and in bottom this, this is the NMOS and above this, this is the PMOS the yellow line shows that the in this box it is a and green uh, line shows the active layer the blue line shows the metal and in between these contacts these are called the active contacts uh, these black dots are called the poly contacts uh, we have provided input through the poly layers by providing the a in b in and the c in and we have collected the output from here that is C out and collected the uh, another output sum that is here and the lower is the ground these show that the these are connected to the ground as this 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 is connected to the ground this is wholly made through the stick diagram now we will be switching to the L edit and form how how we will be making this full adder now in the LED we will be making the full adder uh, through the our stick diagram uh, firstly we have to set up the LED uh, in setup we will be go for the design uh, then will we mark the grid and the major grid we will be one will be of one minor grid is of 0.5 and the mouse snap grid will be the 0.5 then we will be setting up the technology for it uh, then we will be choosing the display unit to the lambda and uh, as per of your technology you are making in uh, i am making this in the 180 nm technology so i will write here 90 divided by 1000 and now our major and the minor grids has been uh, set up here these capital dots are the major and the small dots are the minor grid uh, the distance between uh, these two capital dots is one and the bit, uh, distance of minor grid is 0.5 so 
you can set up the layer palette uh, the this is the layer palette by setup layer palette you will be able to uh, get whole layer palette here uh, it has uh, different materials here uh, like poly polycap active metal 1 metal 2 and well and select p select so as we have studied uh, for a uh, pmos we use a n body and uh, n and and p will n will be acting as body and the p portion is used to make channel and uh, source and uh, train will be made up of the p so we will be using n well as the body for pmos we will be using the drc for checkup here that uh, there is no error in this design rule checks uh, we have to maintain all the design rules or lambda rules here firstly we will making a well and then we will be making the as we are choosing p select here the p select in this we will be making drain and source there will be a poly layer these are according to the design rules lambda or lambda rules uh, then we will be making the active These all will be designed like this. Then we will be putting a metal layer in between this. We have firstly in the we have used the N well in the outer layer, and then we use the P select. Uh, then we have created a active layer, and then we have connected the metal, and then uh, this uh, this is the active contact and this is red line shows the poly layer and uh, by checking the our stick diagram we will be making the whole uh, whole structure and the whole structure will by making the whole structure these are the poly contacts here these are the poly contacts this is this is the poly layer these are the metal lines this is the p select this is the this is the n well this is the p select this is the active layer this is the metal layer this is the active contact here so so we have made all uh, this through the stick diagram this is the ground this is the vtd and we have interconnected and made the connection uh, so that we are able to uh, get our output uh, this is how we will be making whole uh, full adder of 28 transistors uh, by stick diagram and uh, this is the layout of the that 28 transistor cmos structures Thank you.